Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. So today I'm making some super cute earrings with paper clips and beads. And I was inspired by Elle Marie. She had posted a picture on Discord of a pair of paper clip earrings that she had made. And I just thought they were so cute. What you're going to need for this project are your tools. You're going to need some standard size metal paper clips, some earring hooks, and a variety of beads. So to make the small one, we're just going to start with one paper clip. And the best way to straighten it out is just to go slowly. So you sort of straighten it out as you go. Because sometimes if you just bend it open too quickly, it'll get a little bit kinked. But if you just go through slowly and kind of open it up like that, then you're going to get a nice straight line. And then if you need to as well help it out with the flat pliers, you could definitely do that as well. So you could just go like that and then bring it that way. So because I want to get two earrings out of one paper clip, it's best to measure it. So if we just go here and it's about four inches long. So what we want to do is just cut it at two inches. You can double check it's at two inches and then just give it a clip. So this end's going to be flat and that end's going to be flat. Uh, just cut it flush with your pliers. And then what we're going to do is just take your round pliers. I'm going to go with these larger round pliers. Just take your pliers right near the end and just twist it around. So we have our initial loop like that. And then from there, we're going to put the pliers in the loop and to this side. And we're just going to turn this around and do a loop like that. So once we have that one, we're going to stick the pliers here and then just bring it around. And I'm bringing it around to this, this front side here. And so these wires are going to kind of be like right beside each other. So we're just going to bring it around in here and just, it's stiff wire for sure. And then we're going to just push it in place. And then from there, we're going to put our bead. So I'm going to put our six millimeter bead on there, stick it right on. And then we want to bend that into a loop. So we're going to take this and then just bend it back and around to close the loop. And it kind of goes like right into the end of the bead. The miracle beads have a decent size hole in them. And then you're going to get your earring hook, open it up and stick it on. And there we have our super cute little simple Celtic style earring. So for this one, I'll use the full paper clip. I'm going to use some smaller round pliers so I can make the loops a little smaller. And we're going to start in the same way. So we're going to do like the little triple loop at the bottom. So we'll bring that around and then bring that one around. And then bring this one around here. So we've got like our triple loop and bring this like to the front here. So these ends are sort of like beside each other a little bit. It is stiff wire. You're going to have to like wiggle it around a little bit. You can always like bring these loops a little closer if you have to like put them in like that. If you need to push it down a bit, you can go like that. And then I'm going to put an eight millimeter bead on there. So we're going to put the eight. And then from here, I'm just going to do a little loop on either side. So we're going to bring this one around here. And if you've made one previous, just compare it to that one to make sure your loops are more or less the same size. If you have a little marking on your pliers, that could help. Otherwise, just eyeball it. So we're going to bring that one around here and then bring that one up. So sky's the limit with these designs. You can play around with the design, bring that one up, and then you can push it down if you need to like squish these so they're beside each other. And then we're going to get a four millimeter bead. So we'll put the four millimeter bead on there and we can do the same kind of loops on the end of this. So we're going to bring this one around, 
to one side and then wiggle it as much as you need to and then this one okay we could bring it to the same side here bring this one up okay and the same thing if you need to kind of squish it in place you can just to push them together with your flat pliers and then for this one wiggle it around and then bring this one like I stuck one end of the plier in one loop and the other one is going to go here so bring that around and I think in my first one the wire was just the right size this one seems like that we're going to have to clip part of the end so that's no problem we can just clip it in there just be careful at that end because it is really like stiff so this could go flying you want to be careful it won't go in your eyes or in your salad which is what mine did the other day <laughs> so i had to throw my salad out so there we have like the two matching earrings and same thing you just put your hooks on there these are the surgical steel hooks that i buy with the ball and the spring and uh, i do have a tutorial on how to make your own uh, earring hooks if you'd like so I can link that up below as well or if ever you're looking for a tutorial on my channel just use the search bar and you can just search what whatever you're looking for and there you have the more fancy earrings so for the pair with the spiral we're gonna measure we're gonna take the whole paper clip and measure about a one and a half inches depending on how many beads you want to put on this earring so we're gonna bend that at a right angle and then what we want to do is form our uh, spiral so what you can do for that is just take your small pliers round pliers and hold the end and then just start to bring it in like this usually when I do my spirals I make like sort of a cone shape first but because this wire is very stiff I'm just going to do it this way so it's a little bit more um, like just going a little bit like by little bit and uh, I think it's going to be easier because the wire is very stiff so if you have your own preferred method of doing spirals uh, go ahead I'm just going like little by little and bending it along as I go so we're just going to go like little bit by little bit bend it in and then we can always adjust it at the end but we're just going to kind of slowly bring the spiral in push it in to straighten it up if you have to and just bring it all the way in this is going to be quite a big spiral you could trim the paper clip if you want a smaller spiral you can also uh, do it tighter if you want like a really like kind of uh, close together spiral however however you like the look this one is going to be a little bit more open but if you like the wires closer together that's fine too whatever looks good to you so we're going to bring that here so this sort of right angle is kind of centered on the spiral if you do need to bring the edges in you just kind of go inside and push them together a little bit to adjust the distance of the lines of the spiral and then what we're going to do is just take our beads and I'm going to start with the six millimeter miracle bead at the bottom put a metal spacer bead and then I have a faceted glass bead which is also about six millimeters and then we're going to put another spacer bead on there and then we're going to put the um, this little one here which is a um, four millimeter bead then from there what you could do is you would trim this to three eighths to half of an inch right here or you could keep filling it up with beads if you like so we're just going to do that careful it doesn't fly and from there you can get your round pliers hold it in place and just take the end I hold that with my finger bend it back at a right not a right angle more like 45 degrees angle and then just bring this one in so it kind of is flush there and there is your spiral earring and from there you're going to put on your hook like that and there you have your cool spiral earrings made with the paper clips
So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire, art, and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire creations, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. And I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to join the mailing list, I will send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.